So first, make sure <coughs> your units are millimeters. So go to the customize unit setup and make sure the units are millimeters. Uh, click OK and OK to finish. Then click on the perspective view, all W to maximize. It, it will be permanently fixed, but just to, yeah, one check. Yeah, that lady kept the keyboard up. <laughs> you kept <laughs> Tomorrow only she will come. <laughs> Click on the sphere. <laughs> Click on the sphere. Plus sign near the keyboard entry. Mention the radius as 400 and click create. And escape twice to finish. Press F4 to see the segments. shapes. Click on the circle. Click on the circle. Click on the plus sign near the keyboard entry. Give the radius as 450 and click. And escape twice. So I have a circle and I have a sphere. Okay, maybe I can increase the radius, make it 500, little bit bigger. Uh, yeah, select the circle, go to the modify, just make the radius bigger. front view go to the front view go to the create menu in the shapes click here on the text click here on the text this one and place the text and escape twice to finish. Go back to the perspective view. Anywhere, anywhere in the front view. The modify and you can change the text what you want it to be and you can give any size let's say I'm going to give around 150 200 it's up to you. 45 list, press E on your keyboard for extra. 
and make the extrude amount let's say around 50 millimeters you need to select the text and go. Hmm. 50. 50 yeah 50 right? 50 in the extrude it's just you are converting the 2d into 3d No, 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 here. Uh, amount 50. You have to apply extrude. In, from the modifier list, apply extrude. Now, as you can see, the text is selected. Go to the modifier list. Go to the modifier list. Look for the modifier called this one path deform, not the patch, another one path. Path deform WSM, this one PATH. Path, yeah, not patch, path. Got it? P A. Path deform, not patch deform. Okay, so there are different. World space modifier. These are object modifier. These are world space modifier. Mostly used for animations. Animating the object. Now, world space modifier means an object is depending on another object. Pa object modifier means the op you are controlling only that particular object. Okay. So choose path deform. Here you have an option called pick path. Click on the pick path and click on the circle. So the text will bend according to the circle. Immediately click on move to path, then here in the path deform axis choose x axis, and in the rotation I'm going to type minus 90 to make sure the text is sitting on the circle. Universal logo, yeah. Done. Now, what I want to do, I want the object to go around my sphere. Okay. So, when I render, I will see only the object is going around. I will not see the path because this is a 2D shape. Okay. So, how I can animate it? Done? Okay. Now, to so make animation, click here on the auto key. Here, auto key. <coughs> auto key means automatic animation. Okay. So, when you click auto key, if you move, if you rotate or if you scale, the animation will be automatically recorded. Okay. Set key, which is below, is manual animation. Now, every time you move an object or rotate an object, you have to click on that key button to say to 3D Max, record the animation. Otherwise, it will not record it. Okay. So, in the zero, as you can see, my percentage is zero, which is fine. Take the slider to 100. Take the slider to 100. So the percentage should be, let's say 100 enter, it came back to the normal. Switch off the auto key. Now when you move the slider, you will see the text rotating. Uh, 
Okay. It's not rotating. Set the text move to path and path deform axis and 90 degree. What I did is I switched on auto key. I take the slider to 100 and I set the percentage as 100. Half, only half it will rotate. Switch off the auto key. If you want to check, you can click here on the play animation. You can see the text rotating. There is some lag. It's getting slower. It's getting slower, yes. Sometimes if I put 50%, it will be slow. Or how? You mean this still here? This 50? No, the speed is more different on percentage or how? Difference on percentage, not on 360 degree. So if I put 50%, then it will go slow? No, it will go half. For half only. Half only. It will be there only. So now what is the speed it is now traveling? It is traveling 100 frame per second. Can I increase the frame? Uh, increase or decrease the frame? Increase, 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 increase. You can increase the frame. So you will be telling later? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, why is the text slow moving? Uh, that I will show you why. Now, if you, for example, let's say I'm in the auto key, keeping here 100, okay? Instead of 100 percentage, if I type 300 percentage, it will keep on spinning three times. One time, one full percentage. 300, three times spinning. If you want to give, let's say 1000 percentage, it will be keep on spinning. For example, let's say auto key, I'm going to say 1000 percentage. So the spinning will be. Think if there is a logo like this. On the first day, first. Uh, Part itself, they will go away from the theater. We can control. The reason is normally the animation should be 24 frame per second. This is a proper animation. So basically, how much we created? 100 divided by 24. We created an animation for 4 seconds. Okay, because we have on the bottom only 100 frames. Now, if you want an animation for one minute, you should have at least 1440 frames. This is the total number of frames you should have. Here. Okay. Yes. So, if you want the anim... Huh? See, normally the animation should be 24 frame per second, okay? So, normally uh, how much frames I have here in the bottom? I have only 100 frames. So, 100 divided by 24 is 4 seconds. That is the reason in the end you are seeing it is lagging. It is not lagging, it's because of 3D Max. It is lagging because our eye is seeing like that. Because every 24 seconds, we flip our eye like that. After whatever goes more than 24, either you see it really slow or really fast. Not because of the computer. It's because that's how our eye is created. Okay. So that is the reason when you increase the frames, the animation is very slow. When you decrease the frames, it's really fast. That's how the frame works. Okay. So, Which means I want this to be displayed for 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 10 into 24, 10 into 24 will be 240 this seconds. This is frames. Natural, frames. natural. Actual. Actual. Other things at all, I can make it as a slow motion. Slow motion or fast motion. Depends, upon, motion. Upon, Depends upon the number of frames. Based on the number of frames, it will be either faster or faster. Either faster. If you reduce the frames, let's say from 0 to 10, let's say I'm here. 
I'm keeping auto key and I'm saying 10 frames. This is, and I'm going to say 100 percentage. Now, say how fast I'm seeing it. Uh, you are saying, for example, from 10 frames, I keep 100, right? On the 30 frame, I'm going to keep, let's say, 400. Okay? So, this is the 100 frame, that's the 300 frame. So, this one was a little bit slower, that one is very fast. Okay? How can I reset so that the entire frame is, let's say, 100 per second? Which one? Like the the frames. The you frames, you yeah. want to increase the frames? No. Like yeah. right now I have at 20, it's 200. At 60, it's like 900. But I just want the entire thing to be 100, for example. How can I do it? Ah, you mean the key? No, the Someone has to fix 96 frames at 4 minutes video. Which will be clear or how? You said 24 frames per second. Mm. So I want the video to be in this frame 4 seconds and 96 uh, frames I can fix it. 96 frames, 4 seconds. Yeah, 4 seconds. 4 into 24. 4 mm -hmm. into 24. How much? 96, right? Mm -hmm. So 96 frames, 4 seconds. Yeah, if every 24 you will type a percentage. But how I know which will be the actual one? How do they say? Whether 4 seconds it should play or it should play 8 seconds? Then you have to multiply it. 24 into 8. So how, 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 how to mention how many frames? That I will show you. See, in default it will always comes 100 frames. Now before doing the animation, you have to decide how many frames you want and how many frame per second you want. This is more important. So that where you can decide, you can click here on the time configuration button. Where is that? This one, this button, time configuration. Near the playback control. Click on the time configuration. The shutdown. Currently, this one rotation is taking one second. One rotation is not taking one second. One rotation is taking four seconds. No, four, not four seconds. Uh, 30 divided by 100. 0 0.3 seconds. 0.3 seconds. So, 0.3 seconds currently rotated. Yes. No, right now, according to 3D Max, he's going up to 30 frames per second because it's set to NTSC. You know, US have a different frame and the UK have a different frame. Okay. So, I'm going to make it custom over here. So, NTSC means US frame system? NTSC PAL. Here they use PAL. They don't use NTSC. Yeah. Mm. That is British. So you have NTSC, PAL and FLIM. You can make it custom here and type in the FPS 24 and press enter. So it's 24 frames per, per second. second. But when I make 24, look at the start time and the end time here. 0 to 80. The length and the frame count is also 80. So how many seconds I wanted animation? Let's say I want 10 seconds into 24. I need 240 frames, right? So I'm going to increase the end times to 240. So the frame will be increased on the bottom. 240. So 10 seconds. 0 to 240. 24 into 10. Depends upon how much time you want the animation. So I want this animation to make one rotation in 10 seconds. Yeah, this animation I want for 10 seconds. And in one second it will go 24 frames. 24 frames. So it will become 240. So if you more frames, it will be more better. Yeah, the animation will be more better. Why does it increase the 
said, don't say it. <laughs> So the same thing works um, with the crowd animation also. If you want to create a crowd, like people walking, standing, sitting, talking, all those things, first you have to do like this. Um, <clears throat> click here on the time configuration. Make a reset and first click here on the time configuration. And make a reset. And click here on the time configuration. Uh, custom, custom. This button, the time configuration. It looks like a square shape. In the custom, make the frame per second as 24. You can ask why 30. Normally, 24 frames you can do for televisions, uh, projectors, or any laptop presentations like that. Huh? Cart no, car uh, cartoon also 24 frames per second. But if you are making for games like mobile or PlayStation or PC, 30 frames per second. Okay? Why so, is that? Huh? Because I can uh, detect up to 24 only, right? Yeah. In games, you, you, know, you normally you don't focus that much how much the animation is happening. You just play. That is the reason you can make a NTSC mode, PAL mode, so you have different modes also. You will see some animations nowadays are done in 60 frames per second. What is it called? No, it won't come in NTSC or Paul. So this is it achieved it by and some. It takes more volume, right? Huh? Memory, right? it takes more. Frame is more. No, it will be looking more, uh, you know, how should I say? More, more realistic, more interesting. You know, you will feel. But uh, it will take more volumes. My memories also. So that means PlayStation is running 60. 30 frame per second. No, no, no. The 60 frame per second was achieved in the movie. The no, 48 was achieved in uh, Avatar by James Cameron. Uh, 60 was achieved in Lord of the Rings. This was the highest frames made. If you see in the movie called The Hobbit, uh, the first part. You will see that dwarf walking from the trees. It will be very slower, plus the fire sparking coming out from the trees. You will feel it, wow, how they made it. That is 60 frames per second. The human is also walking according to the time. They don't know how they did it, but still confused, but it was, was perfect, very perfect. Okay, so they means they shoot it, the camera in 60 frames, and they animated the rest of the things also on 60 frame. They combined together very perfectly. Otherwise, it will look so bluffed. And they made our eye to catch it. The capacity increases. It looks like slow motion, also fast. More realistic. You will feel the, uh, okay, there is some action sequence happening. You know that another guy called uh, Zach King, he is more famous in making Premiere Pro. He makes uh, things into something, car into small. Then he all take care of all this frame. So if it, something is come, no, when he pushes something, it becomes an option. If you want me to show, let me. Okay, so make here 24 frame and make the end time as uh, 300. Start as zero, end time as three hundred. So once you make the frame, I think it's default reset. Yeah. After reset, also. No, after reset, it goes back to NTSC again because the software is designed by US. They work on thirty frame per second. No, no, it came NTSC only when I made reset. I'm making new, so it is. Ah, don't make new, reset. Okay. Uh, Make it 300. Enter. Type 300 and press enter. Click OK. Frame 24, start time 0, end time 300. Yeah. 
and go to the top view. Go to the top view. Let's uh, create some huge plane. Click on the plane. Click on the plus sign near the keyboard entry. Mention the length as maybe around uh, 10,000 by 10,000. Very small. 10,000 is not that big. Click create. Escape twice to finish. Did I type 10,000? Ah, I typed 1,000. Okay, perfect. Done. So that is going to be my mm, earth. Sorry, the ground. So let's put some trees. So go to the standard primitives. <coughs> go to the standard primitives. Go to AEC extended. AEC extended. AEC means architectural, engineering, and civil. Or construction. Or, sorry, construction or civil. Click on the foliage. Foliage. So those are the trees available for you. So for example, I'm going to say palm trees and just click one, two, three, wherever you want. But leave some space. Don't put too much up. Yeah, anywhere. So it should look like that. See? This is all default. You can add more library from downloading from autodesk.com. like a, like a balloon yeah. yeah yeah it makes like a low balloon because according to your graphics card okay but if you want to create proxies you have to create it 3d max will not create for you okay okay next to create some crowds you have to click on the button called where is that button You should see a button called uh, this one, uh, toggle ribbon or saying graph graphite modeling something over there. It looks like this. Near the layers, you will see the button, toggle ribbon. What's the layer? Toggle layers. Uh, this one, ribbon. Or it will be saying graphite modeling something. Okay. This one, see this one? Yeah, click that one. You will get a ribbon like that. Toggle scene explorer. You have graphite modeling. Uh, uh, toggle ribbon. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, see, toggle ribbon is actually pushing a ribbon, new ribbon down your shelf. There, you have the option called populate. Click on the populate. Okay. Click on the populate. So, in populate, you have defined flows, idle areas, simulate, display, and edit select. Click on the define flows. You see a path and some humans. Click on the create flow. Create flow. This button. And just start drawing from here till here. If you want to reduce this one, the size, you can reduce from here. Width to maybe 
you can say 3000 so you can draw it like that and you can go back right yes so i'm going to shift and i'm going to draw something like that how much is it huh? 300 300 yes 3000 sorry not 300 yeah. No, in the defined flows, I type the width 3000 and I'm just drawing it. Escape twice. Yeah, like this. Press shift if you want to draw straight. Uh, click here on the mouse. Mm -hmm. I want to go back. Control Z to undo. Hmm? Undo is not happening. Okay, done. Then select the plane, select your plane, go to the modif the plane, perspective view. How will I exit? By escape? Which one? The idle area? Here, cl uh, right click on your mouse to escape. Not escape. Not escape. Then go to the perspective view and select your plane. Go to the modify and just increase the size of the plane. Maybe instead of 10,000, can make it 50,000. 
to make it more bigger. Huh? Perspective view, select the plane and make it 50 by 50. means there is no humans. I can see the blue one in the uh, very less. They don't have around. It's okay. It's just a flow of path. No problem. You draw it, right? So select that path here in the modify. Just you can increase the density. If you make it like, for example, more, you will get more humans. There is no blue and pink. will be sometime it will be very tiny it's okay no problem okay now once you're done go here to the simulate even after increasing the density a little bit a little bit two three you have if you have more path more humans will appear go to the simulate here simulate Got it? Click on the simulate button. We didn't select the entire Not, Nothing. No need to select anything. Just go to the simulate and click on the simulate button. Thank you. 
standard size the plants are smaller yes the trees are not that high the height of the tree is 375 no problem click on the play button if you want to see him moving design and whenever you create object this real world map size will be checked always in the design which means when you apply materials the material will be in the real world map size which means in a proper units uh, like millimeters if you type 100 whatever the tile size is it will become but if you say classic this will be unchecked so you are going in a generic mode so if you say one 
and in the image you have four tiles it will be four if you say two it will eight it repeats that is the only difference not much only for materials is there any time you can uh, see if it is always on we have to do too many things if it is off you can decide whether you want it on or off so better classic is the best option so how can i go back on this uh, no no here then you have to go to the customize uh, customize user interface not user interface sorry uh, where is that guy? show you hi ah, here you can look for the classic the max is actually the classic you will have see the design you have max uh, max method you can choose max default ui set so when you reset it becomes classic again to come back uh, it's customized and it says uh, custom UI and default switcher. So when you choose design, see this one design mental ray, it will say rendering with no exposure control, all objects are created by layer, populated with arch in design. See it's saying what all going to happen in the design. So those are things going to happen in the day. real world texture coordinates, set support real world scaling of UW coordinates. This is your design. This is your max. Rendering, real set to support, inverse kinematics, etc., etc., etc. Okay. 3ds Max scan line. In this, it will be mental ray. So those, some difference are there. Okay. So. Okay, lay. Go to the front view. All W to maximize. This is also to convert a 2D into 3D. Yeah? Uh, go to the shapes. Front view. Go to the shape. Click on the line. Uh, initial type and drag type, corner and corner. Initial type. Okay, wait. Before we go to the left, see, this is corner and corner. See how it is coming? Sharp, right? Corner and smooth, click, drag, it becomes curved. Sharp, click, drag, sharp, click, drag. That is drag type smooth. Corner and bezier, same. Click, drag, click, drag. So it's exactly doing the same, but the edges are not that smooth like the smooth object. See the base here? Another thing between the smooth points and base here, see when I choose the vertex on the base here, I will have this tangent points which I can control. So when I go here, I can control each point, each arc side. But when I do the same thing on the smooth points, no tangent, all of them will move together. This is the difference between Bezier and Smooth. Oops. Okay, so click on the line, initial type and drag type, corner and corner. Press and hold the shift key on your keyboard. Press and hold the shift key on your keyboard. So I'm going to use this major black line as my starting point. So I'm going to click somewhere here. First point, second point, third point, fourth point, fifth point, sixth point, and up to here, seventh point. Escape twice to finish. So that is the shape I want. Uh, put 
shift key also it will come. If you don't put shift, it won't draw straight lines. Ah, then any angle. It will go any angle. Like polar coordinates in CAD. Like F8. F8 is ortho. Yeah. Okay. Now, once you've done the shape, select that shape, click on the mirror, click on the mirror, copy in the clone section, mirror axis Y, so it becomes opposite, and click OK. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring it down leaving a gap between them like that. What is it? I just brought it down. Here. I select the object. Okay. Mirror. Did you choose copy here? Y axis, click OK. Bring it, bring this down. Control Z to undo and try the mirror again. Bring it down straight, huh? From the Y arrow. Done? Okay. Now, select any one of the shape, either the top or the bottom, doesn't matter. Go to the modify. Click attach. It's when you move it, you have to move it from the Y arrow straight. Click on the attach and attach that second shape. And click on the attach again to finish it. Now they became one. There is gap, then also one. Yeah, we will fill the gap. Even if it is not a little straight line, see it in the test. Done? Okay. Click on the vertex. Click on, uh, click on the attach and click on the second shape. And click on the attach again to finish. Vertex, then again. Which one? The attach is making the both of them as one object. We already attached previously. Ah, that, click on the attach again to finish it. Previously we attached without clicking on the vertex. Yeah. No, I didn't do attach after clicking vertex. But you just selected. As I just selected the vertex, yes. So once you click on the vertex, you see these two points where there is a gap. Select both the points. Select both the points. Done. Uh, click on the vertex first. Then select both the points. Now to bring the points together, right click on your mouse. Fuse it first. Fuse will bring the points together. Then weld them. First fuse, then right click again, weld. Second Yes. The fuse is below the weld. So fuse vertices, then again right click, weld vertices. Without fusing, it's still like a two-wheel drive. Without fusing, 
Mm. Uh, you see, if you select this, right click, and if I say weld, it won't come together. So you have to bring it together so that you can do the welding. Like normal people do the welding. We keep it together, we weld it. The same. Mm. Yeah, if there is no gap, you can weld it. But still, if it is like this, one point here, another point here, still you have to fuse. Uh -huh, straight. Uh -huh. Straight. And the sand Then you have to fuse also. You can weld it. Yes. These two commands, the sequence is necessary or we can weld First weld then? No. If the points are far away, the first option is fuse. The second option is weld. If the points are together like that, the first option itself is weld. No need fuse. Opposite, it won't work. So once you finish welding, select that point and delete it. You will see it becomes as one line. Select the point and delete. So what is deleted? It deleted that point that vertex. no angle arc or something we need a vertex if there is a no now click on the vertex again to finish it you done go to, go to the modifier list go to the modifier list press L on your keyboard for lathe press L on your keyboard for lathe go to the perspective view go to the perspective view In the align, click minimum. In the align, here in the lathe, click minimum. Done? Minimum means, see here, for example, I created the shape from this, this is my starting point, right? When I did lathe, he is taking the lathe, the axis line from the center of the shape. He is not taking from the place where I started the point. When I say minimum, he is doing from the point. So now this is the axis point. When I say maximum, he goes opposite. When I say center, he is taking it from here. Minimum means, Minimum means the line where you started. Start point. Point. The axis, the axis the comes to the start point. The start point. Yes. Changing the axis. Yes. Yes. If you see the column which you created black like this, okay, or proper shaded. If it is proper shaded, don't do anything. But if you see exactly black like this, you can flip the normals. If you don't see it black, it's fine. Keep it la normal like that. And this one? Yeah. Just say weld core. So where is the flip option? Below the weld core, flip normals. Flip normals, not flip options. Yes. 
not close. There's an open point in the places. Uh, th that's the reason we are welding the hole. It will weld. We are welding that uh, 360 degree, both the points together. Flipping the polygons. This is flip normals. This is black. Opposite side. The inside. We are seeing the inside out. Now this is proper. But here, it seems like I can see some shadow. The shadow is fine. See, this is, uh, shadow, is fine. shadow is fine. Shadow has to come. This is right. This is right. This is wrong. like that whenever you make a model in 3d max for example let me show you see this box let me okay this is my box right 
I know this is a solid object. When I do rendering, it will show the box from outside. But when I go inside the box, when I render, I will not see anything. Still, I did See this, I'm not seeing the box, but I'm seeing the teapot. Okay? Because when you create a model in 3D Max, this is not a solid object. Only one. It's a 2D plane on all the four sides. That's it. Okay? It's not solid. It's not solid. From outside, it is solid. From inside, it is not. Yeah. Yeah. So that is the reason, you remember, we was applying a modifier called shell to increase, the thickness. to increase the thickness. So now I can see the teapot is sitting inside the box. That is what happening in the lathe also. So when I see the object, when I render, it will look transparent. See this? Open. Inside out. But when I say normal, it will look like a solid object. That is a solid object. Okay. Now, if you want that to be a square, you can type 4 and press enter. So you will have a square column. How you want it. If you want... Huh? 32 for more smith. Each differently? Then you have to do um, the loft. The more number I choose, the more smoother it will be. Yes, the more smoother it will be. If you want, you can do 180 degree also, half, like that. Half only. So you will see only half of it, like that. Now it's showing nothing. Yeah, it's empty. If I need to fill. Then you have to make it as an edit point. Edit point. Then we make this one edit. This is fine. Mm. So I want to rotate the object. This one you want to rotate. Yeah. Actually, it means once you see the full view, other side it's half shape. So I want to see. Okay, rotate it like this. Same like what I did for the layer. Ah, this one you want to rotate it. Yes. Ah. Uh, rotate it like this, not like this. Like this. Like this. From 0 to 180, yes. you want to do yeah, the animation. Then you have to switch on the keep 0. Yeah, in the degrees, keep 0. In the degrees, keep 0. And uh, switch on the auto key. Keep it to frame number 100 and in the degrees type 360 and press it. So now you can see that. Okay. Six. 
position point E one zero. Okay, this is the one, right? Yes. I click on the rotate. Then I will type here how much? One eighty. There you go. Animate. Then you have to let me zero auto key. I'm gonna say one hundred. One eighty. Okay. Whatever I do in the display, when you say auto. Okay, reset. Don't say. 